What's happening in the Austin housing market in 2024? Well, I just got the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors. We're gonna break down what happened in January and what our predictions are for the rest of the spring. So I'm actually really shocked at how low the sales price dipped from December to January. In Travis County, the median price in January is 478,500. Now this is shocking because you can see how huge of a dip it was in December. In December, the median sales price actually went up. And so the way you have to interpret these graphs is to realize that these are closed prices. So it's really reflective of the offers that were made in the month prior. So our interest rates went up to about 8% around October. They dipped down a little bit and got into the high sixes again. So in November, we did see a bunch of buyers put in offers, taking advantage of the dip in interest rates. So those closed prices in December are reflective of people taking advantage of the interest rate, people moving end of year, job transfers, investors usually want to make purchases end of year. So sometimes we do see that uptick in December. Now from December to January, you've got the Christmas season, New Year's, people traveling, they're on vacation. So usually December is a really slow month in the real estate market. And so that's reflected in those January prices. January is always the bottom of the barrel. When you look at any year, that's kind of the bottom line of where the prices started out. Something else that's kind of different though, is we also had a really low number of sales. So there's only 712 homes that sold in the entire county in that month. So having a smaller data set can also skew those numbers. You know, it could be that there were more million dollar homes that sold the month prior. And then we had a bunch of the lower end homes that maybe were sold to investors. So you just don't know when you have a smaller number to play with. Sometimes the data is a little more skewed. So either way though, this is not a sign again, that the market's crashing, that the prices are going to keep coming down, down, down. Once we get past the holiday season, and to me, the holiday season ends once we're past Super Bowl Sunday, once we're past the Valentine celebrations, buyers start to wake up again and start seriously home shopping. So I do predict as always, every single year that we've been tracking sales and records, prices always go up between March through June. So expect the same thing. The lessons you can take away is that if you're wanting to get the best deals right now, and if you're a buyer, take advantage of it right now, you've got maybe two to three weeks left where you can still get some tremendous deals. On average in Travis County, homes were selling at about 93% of the list price to the sales price. That means buyers were getting about 7% off on the asking price. A lot of people are also getting closing costs. They're using it to buy their rates down. So there's a lot of other incentives that you're not seeing on those numbers. We actually had a buyer just this couple of weeks ago, got two homes because they were such a good deal and they got 10% off on the sales price from the builder. They got the closing costs paid for, and then they also got the huge appliance package. So like free refrigerator, washer, dryer, blinds, and so on. So our investor client was like, oh my gosh, this is such a good deal. I'm just gonna take two of them. Now, the other thing to keep in mind if you're selling a home is that homes are sitting a lot longer. So it's 85 days on market is what we saw in January. Now this should also start shrinking on the number of days as we get into the spring, because usually things start moving faster. They start selling closer to asking price. As a buyer, you do have a little breathing room and some time to think about it, which is always nice. I just helped a first time buyer get under contract. We looked at a bunch of homes this weekend and she needed a few days to really like think about it. And I was not as stressed out as I normally would have been because things are just sitting for a while. So she was still able to, you know, have a few days to really think about it, reflect and make sure that that was the right choice for her. We put in a strong offer, got her a good discount on it and she's under contract now. Now, if we look at the other counties, Williamson County is all the areas north of Austin, like Round Rock, Leander, Cedar Park, and so on. They're very similar. It was 81 days on market and 94% 
listing price to sold price. So there's good discounts on the north side. Hayes County is everything south of Austin, Dripping Springs, Kyle, Buda, and so on. So they had 85 days on market and 94% list to close price. So all across the city right now, big bargains, and it's a great time to be a buyer. If you are a seller, listing in the March, April timeframe is always the best months if possible, because that's when you're catching the market as it's moving up. Now, as always, every situation, every neighborhood, every home is completely different. So if you wanna know more about a certain part of town or something about your specific home, always reach out to us, book an appointment. You can click the link in the caption below to book an appointment on our calendar. We'd love to talk to you.